Hello kids, how are you? It's Mrs. Mouse. Kids, today we're gonna learn how to tell the time with an analog clock. Look, this is an analog clock. It has a round face and it has the numbers from 1 to 12 and it has two hands. The short hand moves around to tell us how many hours have passed. And the long hand moves around the clock to tell us how many minutes of the hour have passed. Before starting kids, let's talk about the time. Mrs. Bear, can you tell us why it's important to keep track of the time? Yes, because everything we do, such as eating a meal or playing a game, takes a bit of time, right? That's why it's important to keep track of it. What are you going to do today, Mrs. Mouse? I have a daily routine like most people. We do similar things every day. Wake up, eat breakfast, go to school, play and go to bed at the same time most days. This is called the daily routine. We count time kids using seconds, minutes, hours and days. Mr. Dinosaur, can you slowly say one out loud? One. Yes, that's about one second. Okay, do you know how many seconds are there in a minute? Yes, there are 60 seconds in a minute. You should spend two minutes brushing your teeth. Mrs. Duck, do you know how many minutes are there in an hour? Yes, there are 60 minutes in an hour. Lunch time might take about an hour. Yes, and one day and one night take 24 hours. Kids, we can tell the time using digital clocks or analog clocks. Digital clocks show the time using numbers instead of hands. You can find it in the computer, your mobile phone, your iPad. But today we're gonna learn about the analog clock. Let's start! Kids, when you want to tell the time, always look first at the shorthand. The shorthand shows us the hours. Then look at the long hand. The long hand shows us the minutes. If the long hand points straight up, it marks the hour. We call this a clock. A clock. So now it's four a clock. Look now the short hand is pointing to 2 and the long hand is pointing to 12. So it's 2 o'clock. Now it's 3 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock. Mrs. Dog, can you tell us what time is it now? Yes, it's 6 o'clock. Because the short hand is pointing to 6 and the long hand is pointing to 12. So it's 6 o'clock. Now it's 7 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Now, both hands are pointing to 12, so it's 12 o'clock. Kids, when the big hand is pointing to 3, we say it's quarter past. 
quarter past. So now it's quarter past four. We say quarter past because a quarter of the hour has passed. When the long hand is pointing to six, we say it's half past. Half past. So now it's half past four because half of the hour has passed. And when the long hand is pointing to nine, we say quarter two, quarter two. Because there is a quarter of an hour left until we reach the next hour. So here it's quarter to five. For other times, kids, we count the minutes in fives. Look, there are five minutes between each of these numbers. So we count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. We do this for the right side and for the left side of the clock, we do the same. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. The right side of the clock shows us how many minutes of the hour have passed. And the left side of the clock shows us how many minutes are left to reach the next hour. It's a little bit confusing now, kids, but when we practice, it will be very easy. Let's practice together. Mrs. Doug, can you tell us what time is it now? Yes! The short hand is pointing to eight. And the long hand is pointing to 12, so it's 8 o'clock. And now, what time is it? It's 5 past 8. Because 5 minutes have passed from the hour. Now, it's 10 past 8. Because 10 minutes half past from the hour now it's quarter past eight because the short hand is pointing to eight and the long hand is pointing to three and when the long hand is pointing to three we say quarter past so it's quarter past eight now, kids, it's 20 past 8 because 20 minutes have passed from the hour. Now, it's 25 past 8. We count the minutes in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, it's 25 past 8. What time is it now, Mrs. Dog? Look, the long hand is pointing to six. Yes, when the long hand is pointing to six, we say half past. So, it's half past eight. Because half of the hour has passed. Look now, it's half past eight. The long hand is pointing to six. Now the long hand is moving. It's pointing to seven. Now kids, when we see that the long hand is moving towards the left side of the clock, we say two. We don't say past. Because we count how many minutes are there to reach the next hour. 
Let's count the minutes in fives again. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Let's see. We need to count how many minutes are left to reach the next hour. The next hour is nine. So we say it's twenty-five to nine. Now it's twenty to nine. Mr. Lion, what time is it now? It's quarter to nine. Because there's a quarter of an hour left until it's nine o'clock. Now it's ten to nine. Because there are ten minutes left until it's nine o'clock. Now, kids, it's five to nine. Because there are five minutes left until it's nine o'clock. Look, kids, now it's nine o'clock. The short hand is pointing to nine and the long hand is pointing to twelve. So it's nine o'clock. Now it's nine past five because five minutes have passed from the hour. It's ten past nine. It's quarter past nine. It's twenty past nine. It's twenty-five past nine. It's half past nine. It's twenty-five to ten. It's twenty to ten. It's quarter to ten. It's ten to ten. It's five to ten. Now it's ten o'clock. Let's practice more kids with Mrs. Bear. Mrs. Bear, what time is it now? It's two o'clock. Because the short hand, which is the hour hand, is pointing to two. And the long hand, which is the minutes hand, is pointing to 12. And when it's pointing to 12, we say o'clock. So the time is 2 o'clock. Now I need to count the minutes in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. These are the minutes that have passed from the hour. So now it's five past two because five minutes have passed from the hour. Now it's ten past two. Now it's quarter past two or it's fifteen past two. Now it's twenty past two. Now it's twenty five past two. Now, kids, it's half past two. Now I need to count in fives to see how many minutes are left to reach the next hour. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25. So the hour is 25 to 3. There are 25 minutes left until it's 3 o'clock. Now it's 20 to 3. Now it's quarter to 3. Or it's 15 to 3. Now it's 10 to 3. 
It's five to three. There are five minutes left until it's three o'clock. Now it's three o'clock, kids. Let's practice more and more kids with Mrs. Duck. Mrs. Duck, what time is it now? It's three o'clock. It's five past three. It's ten past three. It's quarter past three. It's twenty past three. It's twenty five past three. It's half past three. It's twenty five to four. It's twenty to four. It's quarter to four. It's ten to four. It's five to four. Now it's four o'clock. Now let's practice for the last time with Mr. Dinosaur Kids. Mr. Dinosaur, what time is it now? It's ten o'clock. It's five past ten. It's ten past ten. It's quarter past ten. It's twenty past ten. It's twenty five past ten. It's half past ten. It's twenty five to eleven. It's twenty to eleven. It's quarter to eleven. It's ten to eleven. It's five to eleven. It's eleven o'clock. Keep practicing, kids, and always remember when you want to tell the time using the analog clock, first look at the short hand because it shows us the hour. Then look at the long hand. Because it shows us the minutes. If you see the long hand pointing to twelve, you say o'clock. And if you see it pointing to three, you say quarter past. And when it's pointing to six, you say half past. And when it's pointing to nine, you say quarter two. And don't forget that there are five minutes between each of these numbers. So always count the minutes in fives for both sides. Okay, kids, we're done for today. We hope that you like the video. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.